Good people, good people. Today we have the lovely Miss Tasha Crab Harris cooking up salmon, stuffed salmon. Salmon. <laughs> That's our point of point of contention, but you know I'm right. As He's with wrong. pecan, and she says oh. some funny pecan or something. Pecan. It's in pecan candy and salmon. But anyway. Okay. <laughs> We are here tonight, whipping this up. It's gonna be a meal for us slash Mother's Day meal. Right, Mother's Day surprise meal. Surprise meal. So we're gonna do stuffed salmon. Um, it's gonna be stuffed with lump crab meat, shrimp, and some other little goodies uh, to kind of fill it out and round it out. But right now, I'm gonna season the shrimp and pour the water off. And uh, Big Man, will you show them the ingredients for the filling? Here we go. Cream cheese, Old Bay, crab ball, the liquid, slap your mama. Not on Mother's Day, though. <laughs> uh, Secrets. They don't need to know everything. <laughs> Try colored peppers, cooked shrimp, lump crab meat, green onions, and parsley. And the green onions? Pull those on over here. Those are freshly grown in our kitchen. There y'all go. Look, look how lovely and beautiful that is. This is what? A little over a week? Um, it's, it's just a yeah, little over a, little a week. Over a week. Yeah. I've been tracking the progress daily. I got pictures of that. But um, yeah, this thing shoots up like a couple inches. Uh, all it took day. was a little water and a couple of squirts of this. Boom. So if you want to try it, Get you some water, green onions, and plant food. So now I gotta change my gloves because I touched that. New glove alert, new glove alert. We got the 500 pack on deck. We all about cleanliness in the kitchen here. Right, so when we come back, the shrimp will be seasoned and ready to go into that skillet with some minced garlic and butter. And then we'll start the process. All right, so all of the seasoning is just on top. We're going to go ahead and dig in and mix it all up with our fresh gloves. 500 pack, always on deck. I like everything to be seasoned really well, so just going to massage this a little bit and make sure each shrimp is covered. And the shrimp were cut in half. I have a problem with cooking too much. And so I also have a problem with following recipes. So I did two one pound bags of shrimp. So two pounds total. Um, problem this, following recipes. Ain't we a match made in here? <laughs> That's make it, that makes it better, you know? A little improvising and Personalizing. Garlic roasting over here. Mm -hmm. So what was the inspiration for this recipe? Um, I saw this post that my cousin Robin, shout out to Robin, shared on Facebook. Looked at the video and said, man, that looks good, but I could do it better. And here we are. I bet it's going to be better, too. <laughs> All right, so looks pretty well seasoned to you? Looks pretty good to me. Okay. So we're going to go ahead on and get this in here. And we're going to get some more gloves. Cleanliness. We all about that. And we also about washing as you go, so you know we working on that part. Cleaning as you go. So <laughs> the shrimp looks pretty good. It's well seasoned. The butter's gonna give it good flavor, along with the seasoning and the garlic. 
probably going to eat some shrimp just straight up. Straight what? Straight up. What is that? Straight out the pot. That's not a word. How do you spell that? Oh, you too. <laughs> I'm married to country boy, y'all. Yeehaw. Not that kind of country. <laughs> It's a Jeezy reference if y'all don't know. They say we country. He all. Y'all don't know nobody that trap or die. I, I don't. I really don't. So we're not going to cook the shrimp all the way. Well, we're going to cook them all the way, but we're not going to cook them to the point of being overcooked because they are eventually going to go into the salmon and you don't want it to be rubbery. That's the worst. So we're going to almost fully cook the shrimp. Mm -hmm. I know y'all don't have smell of vision but it smells great. I can't smell and I can smell it. <laughs> and I concur. So while that's working uh, on getting cooked, I'm going to take these gloves off and I'm going to clean up the area that we have over here so that uh, we can stick with this clean as you go thing. 500 pack, we keep them. Ooh, look at the shrimp. Look at the shrimp, they good, they looking good. So these are our um, chopped peppers, not pre-cut like the girl in the video said, the original video. We uh, had some peppers and I cut them myself. I guess you could use whatever color you like. I use red, orange, and yellow. Try not to get all of that water on there. Um, the peppers had come from the freezer. Yeah, I like the red, yellow, and orange. I like green too, but not mixed in with these really. I like the green and like sloppy joe. So we're gonna just uh kind of just put a little heat to them really um, and let some of the flavor get on the peppers that was left from the shrimp and onion and not onion I'm sorry shrimp and garlic butter mixture and these are new gloves by the way absolutely anything else would be uncivilized So, in keeping what I said, with what I said about not following recipes and always having too much, this is our uh, eight ounces of crab meat. <laughs> <laughs> I did claw uh, because I'm cheap, but crab meat, lump still lump crab meat. Lump is, well, the, what was it, a super lump? Mm -hmm. That was like $25, not paying that for no meal i might have if i had not been with my loving cameraman but you know since he was right there eyeballing everything i picked up i went with the 15 dollar claw gotta keep a watch on things so this is already pre-cleaned um and kind of sorted through to make sure we didn't have any claws or, or shells in there and we're just gonna Put that in there, heat it up a bit. You should let me make a couple crab cakes with them. Go buy another bottle, another can. It only costs $15. $15? Might have to do that soon though. Because I, I do have a world famous crab cakes. I, I just want to let y'all know. Now, as far as the peppers, I did one half of each color. Had I realized I was going to be making so much filling, I might have did a whole pepper of each color. But uh, it still would be plenty good flavor. Yeah, I didn't say that. I didn't say it was going to be not a good flavor. I just like to see the, the peppers mixed in there. So you want a cooler full of filling. 
Well, hey. We see somebody hungry, we feed them, right? So, why not? True. It's a long way between here and uh, Buford. You can see plenty of people. And so, let me bring this back into focus. So, this is the cream cheese. I've got two of those in there. What are those? Like uh, eight ounces. Eight ounces. And the shrimp. And we're going to mix this in here. And uh, we'll throw the green onions in there. I'm not going to cook the green onions. I want them to be kind of fresh so that when they go to the oven, they don't get to be too uh, stringy and you know, all that good stuff. So, so I'll add this in here now. And I've had the um, cream cheese out, so it's kind of soft, but then the heat from the crab meat is going to soften it up some more. The first stick is under the shrimp. So the heat from the shrimp softened that one up pretty good. And since I'm handling the spoon and the skillet handle with these gloves, I'm going to get some new gloves. 500 pack. That looks good. Might need another thing of cream cheese with that. We got some. Yeah, we got plenty. That noise in the background is me getting these gloves on. As you can see, we got plenty. I was all in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you put it there on purpose. No. That's all right. I let them see. I'm serious about this this cleanliness thing, right? So we're gonna go hands all in. It's hot shit. Oops. I wasn't supposed to say that on camera. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to get the spoon for this because it's hot. No glove alert. And we're not about to do this whole video over because I said a bad word. Anybody who knows me knows I occasionally say those kind of words. So y'all just going to have to ignore that one. Charge it to realness. Hey. And we keep it real over here. What was old girl name in Martin that keeps it real? Oh, uh, was it Monica? Yeah. But well, we ain't about to lose no ponytails or nothing like that. So we want to get this, um, everything mixed in. Looks really good. And you want the shrimp, which was kind of all at the bottom. to be mixed in. Now the original poster of the recipe used um, Parmesan cheese. I just don't really see that fitting with what I'm going for as far as taste or texture. So I'm skipping it. Alright, so here we have our seasoned salmon ready for tomorrow to be baked and stuffed or stuffed first and then baked. Pockets already cut into them. 
might try to get a little seasoning in there so it's not completely uh, dependent upon the filling, but here we go. Good morning, everybody. This is part two of the video where we are stuffing the salmon. Notice the fresh gloves and the double spoon action to avoid cross contamination. This was the end piece right here. So the pocket is a little funny on that one. And we're gonna bake them in this roasting pan so that we uh, can try to seal in some of the moisture. Here's another piece we uh, seasoned last night on both sides. Nice and flavorful. Here's the pocket. Had to keep the cameraman off of the filling. Oh, it was so good. I wasn't. I was expecting it to be good, but not that good. And since we have so much filling, what we will likely do is um, warm it again and put it on top. That pan is for the other dish. The creamy Tuscan chicken. So the next time you see that skillet, it will be, oven's ready, it'll be full of creamy Tuscan goodness and this salmon will be, oops, just about ready to be plated. more pieces I need to fit in here so y'all don't have to pile up a little bit. Good morning, we'll be back at it. About to cook this chicken and sauce it up. And so, got my oil heating in the pan here. Fresh glove on, 500 pet. Throw these in and get to, get to cooking. Six pieces, so right now I'm just gonna cook the four. We got diced tomatoes. Chopped spinach, minced garlic, crushed red pepper, secrets, minced onions, and heavy whipping cream. It's the olive oil we use. We got a plate with paper towels for when the chicken comes out of the pan. All right, chicken is out of the pan. Looking good, looking good. So now we're going to roast the garlic and the other stuff and combine this all together. And Keep it moving. All right, so now we got uh, a little mince, a couple scoops of minced garlic. We're gonna cook this for about a minute or so, and then add in some some minced onion. The recipe calls for fresh onions, but hey, we, we improvise in the day. Yeah, we quarantine, so we can't get everything we want. And on a little time crunch, we try to make these deliveries of these meals a day. Um, over here in the pot, we got some milk and heavy cream we're about to boil these potatoes for this creamy mashed potato all right we're gonna add some of these potatoes tomatoes not potatoes tomatoes cook them down to doing no measurements today i'm just just adding the 
is good. Well, basically, I'm just going to use this whole can. Might as well. Ain't no need to save it. But I'm, uh, I'm scooping them out with my hand. So the rest of this juice that's in this bowl won't make it to the pan. And then we'll cook this down some. And then after we cook this down some, we'll add the spinach. Actually, we're going to add the spinach after we add the heavy cream. Right now, we're going to add the vegetable broth. I'm just going to... Well, I got chicken broth instead of vegetable broth, but hey. And then we're just going to let that cook down some. And then add the rest of our ingredients. So we got this huge bowl of potatoes that was filled to the rim. Um, got some in the pot. I'm going to do these later for home for the deliveries we're making. Got them in the pot, getting ready to boil, and we're going to make magic with them. All right, since the king cooker is so big, I got it spread out on two eyes so it can cook more evenly. We're bringing these potatoes to a bowl. All right, so I've reduced my heat to medium low and I'm gonna let these cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. Let them simmer. So we'll be back once that's done. All right, so now we're gonna add the heavy cream. I'm just pouring, I'm not gonna measure. I think that should be good. Reduce the heat to low and then pour it in this and now I'm going to turn it up a little bit slightly until I get a simmer on this and after that I will add the spinach and I'm going to add a little, I'm going to go ahead and add a little crushed red pepper. It gives it a nice little pop. Now when you're using crushed red pepper, it's just like with any seasoning you use, the different brands have different potency. McCormick's red pepper, I can kind of pour a lot more. This this tones, you know, you just lightly sprinkle that in. Alright, so we're letting this thicken up to decent consistency. I'm gonna add a little shredded cheese to it. It says that I use Parmesan, but I'm not using Parmesan. I'm going to add Monterey. And about half a cup. We'll fold that in and then get those couple of pieces out of the bowl. Hold that cheese in and add the chicken. Look at that. I know you want a plate. Alright, so here we go. Finished product. It's much better with the, looks much better with the whole spinach um, instead of the chopped spinach, but hey. It's gonna taste good either way. I already tasted the sauce at some point. All right, so the mashed potatoes are all mashed up. I used the, the milk and heavy cream from the boiling to fold into the mashed potatoes after I 
mash them and cream them up and stir them season with complete and garlic and it's good to go taste test already done ready to plate good people good people good people we back in the kitchen today i'm making an apple crisp it's gonna be a little, little surprise treat for mother's day so i got the pie filling up this is not doing it from scratch i'm doing it from can and box but you know what i'm saying adding a little fluff to it to to you know trick it out a little bit but um Maybe one day I'll make it homemade. My great grandma used to make great apple crisp, and I know I can't hold a candle to that, so I ain't even gonna try. I'm, I'm doing it box and can, but um, we gonna cut these apples up. You know, what I'm saying throw a little nutmeg and ground cinnamon in there, and I already did a couple pans. I did for three of these little pans like this that come in a pack at the store. Um, I split two cans of pie filling amongst the three. And so I've already chopped up and added the seasoning to two, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Bam, there we go. So then we're gonna take, you know, the box stuff, the, the, the topping, we're gonna melt some butter, mix that up, and then we're gonna throw that on top of this, and then bake at 375. Easy, real simple. Matter of fact, I'll bring the box over here so you can see the recipe. Preheat oven to 375, spread apple pie filling or can slices into your pan, and then combine your melted butter mixed with, mix with the box until it's crumbly. Sprinkle over the top, bake for 25 20 minutes till it's golden brown. 25 to 30 minutes till it's golden brown, and boom, there you go. So, this is what we're doing tonight. All right, so I took the box, mix and melted half a stick of butter per box. I did two boxes of that, three pans. Split it up amongst three pans, of course. Um, you know, stirred the butter in until it made, you know, this crumble mix and sprinkled that on top of all three of them. And we about to throw them in the oven. All right, so this is the finished product. Sprinkle a little brown sugar on top, bake with. So when you... Dig in and stir in. It's going to be nice and sweet. It's good and crispy. Just tasted it. On point. It ain't like my great grandma one, but it's straight. It'll do the job. This is the Tuscan chicken. Plated. This is the salmon. Getting ready to be plated. And uh, let's come back in a minute. All right, here we go. Finished product. Plates are plated. For everyone, we got chicken, creamy Tuscan chicken, we got creamy mashed potatoes, we got squash and zucchini mix, broccoli, steamed broccoli, and most importantly, the stuffed salmon. Salmon. Back in the back, we got our aloe plant growing back there, making a little progress. But we are done. Happy Mother's Day to the all the mamas out there. All the mamas, mamas, baby mamas, play mamas, we love all y'all.